Good morning. It's Sunday morning, September the 13th, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you today from God's Word. You know, in Matthew chapter 6, where Jesus was speaking about laying up treasures in heaven, he also gave reference a little bit further on as he developed that subject into the idea that nobody can serve two masters. And he stated this in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And we talk often about priorities in the Christian life. And the fact of the matter is, if something is not in the first place, we're not going to regard it as being all that valuable unless it's the most important thing to us. And Jesus said, you can't divide your affection. You can't give your top priority to one thing and still have another quote, master in your life that also deserves your allegiance. You cannot do both. You can't serve God and mammon. And if somebody has their has their focus on the, the material things of this world, they will not have their focus on serving Christ. You've got to make a decision. And we've got to go back to that passage of Scripture, even a few verses earlier than this, where the Bible says, lay up for yourself treasures in heaven rather than treasures on earth, because they're not going to last on earth, but they will endure in heaven. And the fact is, we cannot serve two different masters. We're going to have to make up our mind. We're going to have to be committed to one thing or the other. And of course, it's always folly. And it would be a very destructive thing, ultimately, to give all of our devotion to the material things, which can never satisfy, which can't pay us back, which cannot really uh, give a reward or fulfillment or satisfaction in life. And we've all heard lots of stories of people who, who clawed and fought their way to the top of the ladder, and they stepped on a lot of people on the way, and then they got there, and then looked around and said, is this all there is? Is this what I've been fighting for? Is that what I've been working for all this time? There's not the fulfillment and the satisfaction and the peace here that I imagine would be here once I got to the top, so to speak. And it just goes to show the fact that the devil always paints a beautiful picture. He always makes things look glamorous and attractive, but the reality is the things of this world cannot satisfy. You can't serve two masters, and we should make sure that we are committed to serving the right master, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who will bless. He's the one who can sustain. He's the one who will make all things worthwhile. The Bible says only one life, the principle found there, will we only have one life to invest. And only what's done for Christ will last. And that's a saying that's been coined from those Bible principles. We just have one life. And we should invest ourselves wisely so that we can gain the reward and the blessing and the contentment and the peace and joy that come from serving Christ, from serving the right master. Don't choose the wrong master. You can't serve both God and material things or pleasure, or anything else in that vein. Make sure you choose the right master and serve the Lord today and ask him, Lord, how can I serve you? And how can I bring value to somebody else's life today? What can I do? How can I invest myself, not in the things that I like or the things that I want, but in serving my master, the Lord Jesus Christ? I want to serve you. I'm only going to serve one master, and I want it to be you. So how can you serve the Lord today? Ask the Lord, and he'll show you. God bless you today.